Welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And today I was going to do a little different type of video. Uh, but in light of some things that have taken place on some certain YouTube channels being hacked, they're losing their channels, it looks like <clears throat> Survival Living is going to be possibly getting his channel back. He won't know for a few days. But it really got me thinking about your security as a prepper and some of the things that you can do to back up some of your very important files that could be on your phones or on your computers, your laptops, your iPads, and those type of things. So, you, know, you know, we all take for granted that we have either software or something that's watching out for your computer, your phone, and all this kind of stuff. And, you know, it's guarding you, you know, I mean, so that nothing bad happens. But in this day and age, with everything that's going on, one has to really think of what could be the outcome and what could be the possibilities of somebody taking your information. Let's face it, folks. I mean, more than likely, a lot of people, you store a lot of information on your cell phones. You have your banking information. You have all that kind of stuff on here. A lot of people pay their bills on here. They do everything on their cell phones now. They don't even have to have a computer. So I would suggest in this video, and I did some research and I found out that you can buy these external hard drives. They range in prices between 50 and 100 bucks, depending on what size you want and everything else. It is a external hard drive. So if it's not plugged in by the little plug to whatever it is that you are backing up, if you don't leave it plugged in or anything, no one can access this information but you. So if you have important pictures, important videos, if you have important information, important documents and stuff that are loaded on your computers, your laptops, maybe your cell phones even, you know, I mean, you may want to think of buying an external hard drive. Now, with your computers and laptops and things of that nature, you will use the USB plug, folks, okay? Just the regular USB plug plugs right into your computer, laptop, and all that. If you're going to do your cell phone, you have to get a different type of plug to run from here, from your external hard drive, to your cell phone. And I believe that is called an OTG wire, all right? So basically, it's gonna be able to connect to your cell phone because obviously, your cell phone isn't UBS. So those are some things that you really want to start thinking about folks because with a lot of the things that are going on and everything else and I would say if you are a new YouTube creator or you are thinking about starting your YouTube channel I would highly suggest that you get yourself an external hard drive and every time that you do a video when you upload the video to YouTube then save the video to your external hard drive and I do mine by months so however many videos I do that month they all go into I download all those videos they're in that month and you do the same thing month after month after month and then you change the year and you know I have uh, 454 somewhere around in there but I have them all saved I have two external hard drives I have this one and I have another one which is actually right now because I just was thinking I never backed up any of my live streams I have all my other videos from day one backed up but right now I'm downloading them all off of YouTube onto another external hard drive this is a one terabyte and the one that is being used right now is a two terabyte and they're really cheap folks 
and this can give you some security. I mean, if you have important documents, you have important files and everything else, this is something that you want to make sure that you're doing. As a prepper, you always want to be prepared. You always want to make sure that your, your T's are crossed and your I's are dotted and all that kind of stuff. And then this, this could be another tool in your toolbox to ensure that you can make sure that you always have all those important documents and pictures and videos and whatever else your medical and everything else could be stored on these in case of an emergency situation you grab this not your computer and everything else you have everything stored on here and all you have to do is walk up to any computer anywhere make sure you have the plug with you and plug it in and you can get the information that you may need whether if it's say a loved one and, and they're in the hospital and you need their medical information and stuff if you have it backed up on here it's a great thing these things are golden these are the golden ticket right here folks for you preppers this way everything is backed up and you're good to go there now, are ways that you can take and products that you can buy that you can store these in to protect them from say an emp um any of those type of things uh, they do make these little bags they make them for your cell phones also they make them for for your external hard drives uh, there are different types of safes that are out there now that do the same thing that you could store these things into and this way there they'll always be protected so I'm survival preparedness for beginners today I wanted to bring a different type of a video to you to make you aware that you have to really protect your technology and all your important things that you may have on your computers, laptops, phones, iPads, and all those things so that you have those for a very long time. Because in a blink of an eye, folks, somebody can take it all away from you. It's a pretty sad thing. But being prepared is just another little tool in your toolbox in purchasing one little external hard drive to put all your information on so until next time folks i hope you all stay safe i hope you all keep prepping you keep your eyes open and keep being aware of what is going on around all of us so until next time i'll catch y'all on the flip side